and thank you so much for tuning in to Carly B TV. I'm Dr. Carly Shaboos. Today for our Wellness Wednesday segment, we're going to be talking about endometriosis. And today we have Dr. Lee, who's with OBGYN Specialist of Macon, staffed at Piedmont Macon. Good morning. And how are you today? Good morning. I'm doing well. Thank you. Great. So uh, Dr. Lee, we know one out of 10 women in the United States um, experience endometriosis. Can you talk to us about exactly what is endometriosis? Yes, endometriosis is the overgrowth of the endometrial lining or the area inside the uterus uh, that where men, women menstruate from growing within other areas of the body. And this is typically found in the pelvic cavity on the ovaries or on the uterus but it can spread to other areas of the body. So what are some of those symptoms that women face um, with endometriosis? Women often will experience painful menstrual cycles, uh, pain during intercourse, and they can experience heavy bleeding or heavier cycles as well. So is this common um, that you see a lot of women uh, go undiagnosed with this condition? A lot of women deal with this for a very long time prior to diagnosis, yes. Okay. Just because they're born with it or their periods are naturally heavy or painful. And so they feel like that's just how they're supposed to be. Okay. So as of right now, there isn't a cure for it. What are some treatments that women can undergo just to relieve some pain? Well, uh, treatments most often include birth control to regulate the cycles and decrease their bleeding. Uh, it can include um, surgeries to try to treat or remove, and it can include a medicine called a, a GnRH agonist, uh, such as Lupron or, or Lissa, which is a new pill that has come out the last several years to try to suppress the estrogen. Uh, all of these therapies are aimed at reducing the estrogen in the women's bodies because uh, endometriosis is hormonally, hormonally responsive to estrogen, and this causes it to worsen. Okay. Is it known how women develop this condition or is it unknown? It's not known exactly how it's developed, although there are several theories that are under research. Uh, we still have not figured it out, but it could range from being born this way or to, all the way to retrograde menstruation, meaning that when women have heavy periods, there's some amount of menstruation that flows backwards through the tubes and implants inside the body. And we are not certain how this happens. Okay. So um, let's just give you a scenario. Let's say if a woman are experiencing, you know, pain during her cycle, um, just frequent pain every day. Uh, what do you recommend um, that she go ahead and just go straight to the doctor, go ahead and get checked out? Or, you know, I mean, is it something other than the pain that will let someone know they may be experiencing pain from endometriosis? While there are other symptoms that are associated with endometriosis, pain is the primary symptom that takes women to the doctor. And so usually they will start off with their PCP who may try birth control, but quite often they don't really deal with that, refer them directly to an OBGYN. Once they come into the OBGYN, they're often treated and um, expectantly or conservatively, but there are certain workups that can be done um, such as an ultrasound to look for cysts or masses, um, and even up to an MRI if necessary. But it's a long, slow process to try to figure out exactly what's going on. Last question, Dr. Lee. Is there anything that women can do at home for relief, um, any natural remedies at home that they can do for that relief from the endometriosis pain? Uh, studies have shown that anything that's going to reduce natural estrogen formation can help alleviate some of the discomfort, but it typically is a progressive disease, meaning that it won't go away completely. But examples would be anything that's going to suppress estrogen and uh, specifically things like decreasing caffeine or decreasing alcohol intake, specifically beer. All of these seem to increase estrogen levels, which can make symptoms worse. All right. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Lee, uh, for coming on Wellness Wednesday and just talking about this condition that a lot of women are affected by. And I hope this segment helped a lot of women out there who are dealing with this condition. 
Hey, are you experiencing algae, mold, dirt, or pollen around the foundation of your home in your driveway? If so, call Reed's when you're in need. Reed's Power Washing Service has next day service available. Select service less than two hours. You're thinking, Reed's Power Washing Service is homes, that's all we do. Nah, we do it all. Driveways, fences, porches, and we clean your rides. So call that number on your screen today and get you a free quote.